Throughout history, many have searched for the lost Ark of the Covenant. And who could blame them? After all, according to the Old Testament, God himself instructed Moses to build the Ark, and this golden chest was believed to have held the power of the Almighty. But how could such a coveted religious artifact just disappear? Is there a chance that the lost Ark could actually be found? Although the search for the lost Ark of the Covenant continues all over the world to this day, many believe that our best hope of finding the Ark is by not looking for it at all. Instead, all we need to do is wait, because according to a biblical prophecy, one day the Ark will return. It's interesting that the Ark of the Covenant is not just mentioned in the Old Testament, it's mentioned throughout the Bible. It's found in the book of Hebrews, but also in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation, where the Ark of the Covenant appears as a testament to the revelation and the end of the world and the culmination of all things. According to the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 19, the Ark of the Covenant will not be revealed until the end times. Revelation 11, 19, then God's temple in heaven was opened and within his temple was seen the Ark of his testament, and there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and severe hailstorm. In that passage, um, the book of Revelation describes the lightning, the thunder that will take place when the Ark of the Covenant is revealed. In Israel, there's a place called Tel Megiddo, which is also known as Armageddon, right? This is the place where the end of the world battle is supposed to take place. So at this city, from the time of the judges in the Old Testament, many people feel that in the last days, the Ark of the Covenant will be rediscovered there in fulfillment of the, these uh, ancient prophecies. Is this the place where the Ark of the Covenant will one day reappear? Only time will tell. But if and when that day ever comes, one thing is certain, the world would never be the same again. The world that we live in today, we must remember, is not a world that believes in miracles. By and large, this Western society that we're a part of does not believe that the Ark has the ability to flatten mountains down and kill all the enemies. So if the Ark is found today and it actually carries any kind of divine properties, this is going to have some monumental effect on the way that we see and think about the world that we live in. I think the reason that people are always looking for relics, objects, the Holy Grail, the Ark of the Covenant, Noah's Ark, is they're looking for tangible evidence that will confirm their faith. We have archaeology, and sometimes archaeology confirms the stories in the Bible, and sometimes it doesn't. But if we had the Ark, somehow people feel that that would just say, aha, now I know that my faith is true, that it's real, that it's confirmed and people want that. I think for all people of faith around the world, it would be a, a fascinating experience to see this idea that something made by human hands was able to contact God or even to possess the power of God. But on the other hand, are we ready to possess the power of God? Is it a good thing in this day and age to even play with the idea that such an artifact exists that could have that kind of power. Maybe it's for the best that the Ark remains hidden.